The Ford F-150 Lightning all-electric pickup truck comes with a feature called Pro Power on board. Now, what is this and how does it work? I'll show you next. So, broadly speaking, Pro Power on board basically turns your truck into a massive mobile power bank. With a phalanx of outlets in the front trunk, cab, and bed, you can run all kinds of different tools or appliances. Pro Power Onboard is available in certain versions of the conventional F-150, though it does come standard here in the all-electric Lightning. Combustion-powered trucks can get Pro Power Onboard in three flavors, 2.0, 2.4, and 7.2 kilowatts. However, the Lightning comes standard with 2.4, though for $1,200 additional dollars, you can get Pro Power Onboard with 9.6 kilowatts of exportable juice, which is what we have here. This is ideal for power outages, camping. Heck, you could run an entire job site right off the lightning here without ever having to worry about hauling around a separate generator or bringing cans of gas. As for accessing all of that juice, you've got four 120 volt outlets right here in the front. You get an additional two in the cab, one on the dashboard, another at the back of the center console, then four more in the bed, plus a 240 volt outlet. And then there's a whole bunch of USB ports and 12 volt sockets in between. Now, before you start plugging in every single appliance that you own, you've kind of got to enable Pro Power Onboard, which you can do from this beautiful 12 inch touchscreen. You just go to features here at the bottom, tap that, then you see Pro Power Onboard, hit that, and that brings up a very intuitive menu here. And you can see where the truck is sort of divided into three different segments. There's the frunk, the cab, and the bed, and of course tapping here, that allows you to turn off these zones individually. And of course tap again, will turn them back on. It says the vehicle will run to supply power to the outlets until pro power reserve setting is reached. More on that in just a minute. So turning the bed back on just like that. And you can see they're all powered. There is also a master switch right here. Tapping that turns all three zones off so nothing else is drawing power from the truck. Let's say you're on a road trip, your spouse is trying to deep fry something in the back seat with one of those little portable fryers or something. I mean, we've all been there, right? You're worried about range anxiety and you don't know if you're gonna get to your destination, turn all those outlets off. It's one less thing to worry about. Really, your only concern at that point is soggy breading. But let's turn everything back on. I'm going to hit the master switch again, and then I will manually re-enable the frunk, close that out again, and the bed. And as you can see here, that brings up a couple of bar graphs, and they show you how much power is being drawn from each of those zones. We've got 2,400 watts available in the frunk, and then 3,600 and 3,600 from the other outlets. And if I turn on this handy dandy pan light, we'll see how much power it's drawing. Uh, frunk and cabin, it's drawing less than 90 watts, which you can see a little blue line there, and that's convenient because this is only a 60 watt bulb. So that really gives you an idea of how much power is being consumed, and where it's going, plus how much you have in reserve. Now, of course, if you plug something into this truck that draws more power than it can provide, it will automatically shut those outlets off, both to protect the truck and your equipment. And then, of course, you can re-enable those outlets either from the screen here, hitting the power buttons, or from the hardware switches, either in the frunk or the bed. And now just a very quick note about range. Plugging a whole bunch of tools into this truck and running them all day will, of course, deplete the battery. However, Lightnings with the extended range pack have a usable capacity of 131 kilowatt hours. So even if you're drawing the full 9.6 kilowatts, that is a runtime of nearly 14 hours. So there's plenty of wiggle room here with what the truck can provide. Additionally, that warning that had popped up a minute ago was for the Pro Power Reserve. And what this does is it basically lets you set a limit. So once this truck, in this case, gets to 100 miles of range, it's going to shut those outlets off to preserve battery life. And of course, you can adjust this here, 95, 90, 85, whatever you prefer to set it at for your range so that you don't have to walk home at the end of the day. So there you go, that is a very quick overview of Ford Pro Power on board. I think this is a fantastic feature to have, especially in the all-electric F-150 Lightning here because it makes what is already an extremely versatile truck even more useful. Next, watch our F-150 Lightning towing and range test by clicking right over here. How well does this electric truck handle a heavy load? 
Well, we'll show you.